Hi friends, it's Miss Andrea from the Hickory Corner branch of the Mercer County Library System. Today I'm bringing you a craft slash game that you can use with upcycled empty gallon containers um, from either water or milk and I had some that I had finished and it kind of gave me the inspiration for this idea. So what you're gonna do is cut the bottoms off of them and then you'll have like a catch game that you can play with a sibling or a parent and um, you can play it inside. And if you wanna play it inside, you could use a small balloon so that you're not breaking anything in the house, okay? Or a nice squishy ball like this one, okay, this one shouldn't hurt much, okay? You can play it by yourself too, if you don't have someone, you can catch like that. And then, if it's a nice day, you can take these outside, and if you have a baseball or a tennis ball, that would also work, okay? So, the way that you make these is you just take the empty gallon container, okay? And on the bottom of most of them, there's gonna be this line that goes around. Now that line might be a little bit hard to see for cutting purposes, so what I did was I took a permanent marker and I went around the edge like this. And I went all the way around so that you can see better when you're going to cut it. Now, I should back up one step and just tell you that most of these gallon containers are going to have a label on them. And you can choose either to decorate right over the label or you can choose to take the label off. And the way that I took my label off this morning was I soaked it in some warm soapy water and I was able to get most of the paper off and any of the residual adhesive residue I was able to rub off with some olive oil. And if you have adhesive remover, that would work too, um, but olive oil works really great. And so that's how I got my label off, which was right here in the front there. And so now that you've got the black line drawn on there, um, you're gonna wanna get a grown up to do this step because you're gonna be taking scissors and stabbing them into the plastic. That can be very unsafe for a kid to do. So make sure you get a grown up to help. And then you're just gonna follow the black line all the way around. And what's nice about this craft is that you can also do something with the bottom. You can get creative and you can do whatever you like with it. I thought of maybe using it as like a little trinket tray to hold things. Um, you can also put it under any of your small house plants to catch any water that might come out when you water them. So you can hold on to this, but it's also recyclable if you just wanna put it back into the recycling. Okay, so now we have our bottom cut off, and so it's actually almost done, believe it or not, but this edge could be a little bit jagged from cutting it with scissors, so a good way to protect it is to grab some duct tape. I only have white laying around the house, but if you have pretty colors, that would be a great way to decorate too and also protect that edge. And the way that I like to do duct tape is I don't even bother with scissors. I just rip my pieces, so I pull what I need, I get really close to the roll, and I rip straight down like that. And then what you're gonna do is you are gonna put it on one side, and then you're just going to fold it over and tape it to the inside. I should also mention that if this was a milk jug, you're gonna wanna clean it out because the milk will get really stinky if you don't clean it out. If it's just water, all you need is a dish towel and you could just dry it out. Okay, and when I work with duct tape, I only work in small pieces like this because if you make a really long piece, the duct tape could get all tangled up and then you have to throw it away and waste it. So let's not worry about that. Let's just do it in a few small pieces. You should be able to do it in about three pieces or so. I should take one more piece and just rip straight down like that. And let's take that. Yep, three pieces, that's all we need. And fold it down like that and now that jagged edge is covered if you have pretty duct tape and you want to continue to decorate this with duct tape 
go right ahead. I didn't have any other duct tape in the house. Right now I'm kind of working with whatever I have at home, which is why I'm making crafts out of recycled materials. And so then you can just go ahead and take your permanent markers. Again, I only had three colors in my house and you can go ahead and decorate it. Um, I just kind of put my name on this one with a heart and I let my daughter decorate this one this morning and she did an awesome job for me. And so, yeah. Let me just show you how you can write on it with the permanent marker. A permanent marker is really important because if you tried to use like regular markers, it would smear. This should not smear on you. So there you have it. So now you have a fun game that you can play either inside with something small like a balloon or a soft squishy ball, or you could take it outside on a nice day and use one of the tennis balls or a baseball and you should be able to have a lot of fun with it. So. Thanks for tuning in today. Have fun and be creative. Bye.